Hey friends, my name is Bond, this is Oleg, and in today's video we're going to talk about a microbrand diver watch. Vero is a microbrand out of Portland, Oregon. They currently have three diver watches in their collection. The watch I have in my hand today is called Crown Point. It's this blue dial black bezel variation. The other two color variations are called Red Trail and North Coast. So the diver in question has a diameter of 41 millimeters. It's 47 millimeters lug to lug, 20 millimeter lug width, and it's only 11 millimeters thick. The case is made out of stainless steel. It has a flat sapphire crystal with AR coating, 200 meters of water resistance. It's powered by a Celita SW200-1 automatic movement, and it costs 875 US dollars on this stainless steel bracelet. All right, so 875 US dollars for a micro brand diver watch is quite a bit, even with that Celita movement. What does this watch have that makes it stand out, that makes it worth 875 US dollars? It's something that I don't often talk about on this channel, warranty. This watch is offered with a 10 year, no questions asked warranty. What does that mean? If you crack the crystal, they will replace it for free. If you scratch the case or the clasp on the bracelet, you send the watch back and they will buff out those scratches for free. If the movement is not beating accurately, once again, you send it back to Portland, they will regulate it for free and send it back to you and you get this service for 10 years. So part of the price that you pay for the watch, of course, is for this warranty. It sort of is like an insurance. You pay a little bit upfront for that peace of mind. And I think it's kind of a unique take on a micro brand world. The 10 year warranty is all good and well, but what about the watch itself? How is the watch? First of all, let's talk about the case. So the case has this bead blasted finish, very angular, kind of a modern design to it. It has sort of a German watch design language, kind of reminds me of Sen, kind of reminds me of the Masco watches with their pure tool watch, pure diver watch aesthetic. And it fits with this overall theme that Vero is going for, these outdoorsy type watches. The watch has 200 meters of water resistance. Of course, it has a screw down crown. The crown and the bezel are bead blasted. It looks kind of cool and gives this nice stark contrast between the gray finish on the stainless steel case and this DLC coated finish on the bezel and the crown. Crown action, nice and smooth. It sits right in between these two big crown guards. Some people will like them, some people will hate them. To me, I kind of like them. I think uh, this overall look just works. The bezel action is nice and smooth. It's one of the best bezel actions that I've experienced on a micro brand. 60 click unidirectional bezel. Nice firm clicks. There is a little bit of back play. It is kind of a spring loaded bezel action. So you can see after each turn, the bezel kind of wants to go back half a position and it does it on every single position. It does line up perfectly. It's just something that I noticed about this bezel. It doesn't have ceramic bearings, but it feels as if it does. The dial, very minimal. We have applied indices for our marks, minimal writing on this dial, just very low logo and automatic written closer to the six o'clock position, that's it. As you notice, it doesn't have Swiss made on the dial. You would expect a watch in this price category to have Swiss made written on the dial. Well, according to Vero, these watches are made in Switzerland. The parts are then shipped to Portland, Oregon, where they're assembled in house, which allows them to regulate the movement better. Uh, apparently they house the movement first, which means they put the movement into the case and then they regulate the movements and the movements are regulated to plus or minus five seconds per day, which is very close to the COSC certification. I think COSC is plus four minus six this watch is plus or minus five, so the same 10 seconds tolerance. Since it's a diver watch, of course, it will have loom. The loom on this watch is pretty good. It's a C3 Super Luminova. You can see that the bezel and the dial is loomed. I also like these extra hashes that they've added between zero and 15 position on the bezel. Kind of a nice, interesting touch and a unique design. The bezel is a little bit over busy with how much writing there is. Uh, because the dial is so simplistic, the bezel takes a little bit more complex approach. Again, this watch, this design will be somewhat subjective. Some people will like it, some people will hate it. To be honest with you, when I saw this watch online, when I saw the pictures of this watch, I didn't care much for it. I didn't really click with the design, so to speak. 
but now seeing it in person wearing this watch on the wrist by the way it fits really well on the wrist because of its slim profile it will slide under the cuff of pretty much any shirt it's a perfect desk diver perfect everyday adventure type timepiece really really like the fit of this watch on the wrist and that's what kind of turned me around with this watch it's one of those designs it's one of those watches that you really have to see in person or at least on video to appreciate uh, the design and design language that Vero is going for. They didn't go for a display case back to show off the movement, it's just a solid case back with Vero logo uh, in the center and a bunch of writing around it. Uh, very simplistic, very minimal, you won't find an elaborate engraving on this case back. A little disappointing, I do enjoy a nice case back on the watch. With this watch you have a choice between a stainless steel bracelet and a NATO strap, and even though I love NATO straps and this watch is pretty thin at 11 millimeters, I would still prefer this watch on the stainless steel bracelet. I think it just works much better and the value for money is much better because on the stainless steel bracelet it's $875, on the NATO strap it's $810. I think it's worth paying extra $65 for a stainless steel bracelet. The bracelet has all bead blasted finish to match the finish on the case. It fits nice and snug into the case, has these first male links and it's a fully articulating bracelet, meaning these links bend all the way down so you can lay this watch flat on the table. It has this fold over clasp with the Vero logo on top. It doesn't have any uh, pushers to open the clasp. It doesn't have any slick system. It's just a simple friction resistant clasp, uh, scissor clasp when you open it uh, with the same bead blasted finish. Now this clasp is a bit disappointing because it's so simplistic. For watching this price category, you would expect more. Uh, three micro adjustments, pin and color system on this bracelet, and there is a slight defect with the bracelet. Uh, the first link uh, kind of rubs against the, the first male link on the bracelet, and Vero is aware of this issue. In fact, all the owners of these watches will receive a free bracelet upgrade in 2022. That will include a first female link and a new clasp and that will be done for free so if you bought one of these watches I think maybe you just email them or maybe they'll email you and they'll send you a free replacement bracelet pretty cool uh, not having to pay extra for it just shows you the extra customer care that Vero is taking with their watches so my complaints about the bracelet and the clasp might not be valid next year as they upgrade the bracelet for now i will stick with my criticisms as this is the watch that i have in front of me this is the watch that i'm reviewing once the new bracelet is ready we'll review that in the future hopefully so a lot of positives to this watch uh, what about the negatives well i already mentioned the negatives uh, the first one and the biggest one is of course the price 875 us dollars it's a lot of money to pay for a micro brand diver watch. There are a lot of other options on the market. I don't have to name them all uh, because you already know them if you've been following the channel for a while. There are so many options. In fact, not only micro brand watches, you can also go with some mainstream brands in this price category for under or just around $1,000. So Vero has some steep competition. Now to touch on the 10 year, no questions asked warranty. It is great, it's something that Vero is offering that not a lot of other watch brands are offering. In fact, I don't know any other watch brand that is offering a 10 year, no questions asked warranty. However, you will have to ask yourself one question about this no questions asked warranty. Will Vero as a brand be around in 10 years? Now, I'm not trying to offend Vero because uh, they've been in business since 2015, so clearly they have some staying power but it is still an important question to ask yourself. Will this brand still be around in 10 years time to honor the warranty that you already kind of prepaid for? So that's it, that's the review. I wanna give a huge thank you to my friend, Chris. He's been a great supporter of this channel and he lent us quite a few different watches, including this Vero. So please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank Chris for lending this awesome watch for us to review. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and of course subscribe to the YouTube channel. We release new videos every week. Today on my wrist I'm wearing my modded G-Shock GA2100. I did a full review of this watch. I also did a modding video for this watch. Both of those videos can be found on the YouTube channel. I will also leave them linked in the description below. Also in the description below there are a couple of other links. There is a link to bondnetostraps.com and there is a secret link. Have a look if you're curious. 
thanks for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, such a good boy. All right, we should get ready for filming and I'll give you a snack. Oh, you like those words, huh? You like filming, you like snack, and you like cuddles. Okay, let's film.